Unsurprisingly, the rather fraught relationship between Antonio Conte and Jose Mourinho has filled up plenty of column inches in the run-up to Saturday's FA Cup final between Chelsea and Manchester United at Wembley. The Italian labeled the Portuguese a little man in October 2016 following Mourinho's match-fixing job in what started off a series of exchanges which have ultimately left some supposed bad blood between the pair. However, ahead of English football's showpiece day in the calendar, both managers have seemingly buried the hatchet for now at least and put the personal feuds aside. Here, we look at how things could shape up from a tactical perspective on the pitch. Don't expect a thriller it could more than likely be Conti's final game as Chelsea boss and the question is whether or not he can lift his side. Many would say blue stars shouldn't need a such a G up for a big occasion, but if they throw in the towel here, then that will surely be the final straw for Roman Abramovic following a dismal campaign in which the 2017 Premier League champions failed to qualify for the Champions League. Conte, who has apparently lost order in some sections of the Stamford Bridge dressing room, will go back to his more trustworthy system of flooding the midfield and using his full-backs to pen United back. However, this season's current crop of players haven't quite got the power and pace to make such an impact like they did in last season's title-winning success. Meanwhile, Mourinho would love to put one over on the Italian and end his stint in English football. Silverware, again, for a second successive season would be a bonus too. Substance over style is the most important factor for the 55-year-old. KG, dull affair in the Wembley Sun would satisfy Mourinho and that could be enough, especially when you consider the Reds have the capability of grabbing a firm stranglehold of the midfield. Midfield matchup to prove critical when these two sides met at Old Trafford in November, the Blues midfield struggled to cope with United's energy as the hosts battled back from a goal down to win 2-1. In truth, that day, the scoreline favored Chelsea. N'Golo Kante and Danny Drinkwater were overwhelmed as the Red Devils enjoyed territorial pressure, while Eden Hazard and Willian offered little support tracking back and Marco Salonzo was caught between his defensive and midfield duties. If Chelsea's midfield becomes detached from their front stars again then they could well be in big trouble, especially if Jesse Lingard and Alexis Sanchez can dominate the flanks and around the box. Hazard carries the full burden of Chelsea's creative hub but will need to see plenty of the ball in front of a packed five-man midfield, operating in a likely 3-5-1-1 system. Failure to help the Belgian will also see Olivier Giroud cut an isolated figure given his lack of pace and ingenuity to chase the lines. This should in hindsight play into the hands of powerhouse Nemanja Matic and Paul Pogba if he can get forward with regularity. Weight of Responsibility, Eden Hazard The Lukaku factor The Belgian's ankle injury was a source of frustration for the striker with the World Cup looming but United are hoping the 25-year-old can nurse his way through the game and have one more telling impact in an impressive first season. Often, this term, his influence has been understated. Yes, a tally of 16 Premier League goals hasn't exactly caught the world alight when Mohamed Salah and Harry Kane have been doubling that total, but it's been the former Everton star's runs into the channels and an improvement as all-round spearhead which has been impressive. Injury could impede his physicality at Wembley but his inclusion could still be enough for United to nick a goal and then play a measured, shut-up shop style game. Lukaku, of course, would love to be the match winner in a major match against his former charges. Can Lukaku get through 90 minutes?